do you call a fish with no eyes? Uh, and this is Balloon Animal Lessons number 36. Hello, Balloon World. I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister, and today I want to teach you how to make a balloon fish. It's a really cool design. It only uses two 260s and a five inch round for the eyes. And trust me, you need to know how to make a balloon fish. Every balloon twister should know. But don't worry, I got you covered. Let me show you how to make it. Get your 260, I'm using goldenrod, and inflate it about halfway. Squeeze it a bit to make it soft. Bend it over, and you're gonna to wanna to make a small S. Go ahead and give that a little massage. You should have something that looks sort of like that. Then twist it right around there. I like to give it another massage just to make sure it stays and keeps its shape. Now we're gonna make a small one inch bubble. And we're gonna pinch twist that by twisting this section into this section. This is gonna be like the top fin of our fish. Now we're gonna give the balloon another little squeeze. We're gonna twist about a two and a half, maybe three inch bubble. Follow it up with another one inch bubble pinch twist. Twisting this section here into that section. Now the same length here, we're gonna to wanna to twist another one over here. So these two here should be the same size. Twist this section with this pinch twist into this section here. You should have something that looks sort of like that. Now we're gonna give the balloon another squeeze. Hold it down, make a twist at the bottom of the pinch twist. You should see this twist here should reach right about there. We're gonna follow that up with another one inch bubble pinch twist. Twist this section into that one. Now we're gonna make a larger pinch twist. Twist a section that's a little bit longer than an inch, maybe like two inches. And twist this section into that section. That's gonna be our, our mouth of the fish. Now twist a small section, maybe a little over an inch. And we're gonna twist that into this pinch twist here. And we have our fish head and top fin. Now it's right there. Get your second 260 and inflate it halfway. Give it a nice stretch and squeeze so it's soft. And we're gonna take that knot, and we're gonna wrap it into the pinch twist. Right here where our top fin meets the pinch twist. Take that knot and wrap it around there. Now we're gonna to want to make a section that's about four inches long on both the top and the bottom sections here and twist them together. So you should have something that looks sort of like that. That's like the back side of our fish. This one here we don't need. We're gonna pop that one later, but not yet because we don't want it coming undone. Now we're gonna make a three inch section, followed by a four inch section, followed by a three inch section. So these two here should be the same length, and this one here in the middle should be a little bit longer. We're gonna twist this part here into this part here. Once you have that twisted together, we're gonna to pop the excess part here off at the end, let the air out slowly, and we're gonna wrap it inside of there and around a couple of times so it doesn't come undone. Now we have our tail of our fish and the body of our fish. Now we need the side fins. So we're gonna give the balloon a little squeeze, twist the section off that's just long enough to reach the middle point here. You can see the middle points right here. That's where I want that section to reach. I'm gonna twist two small flower petals. And I like to keep them pretty soft so I give them a nice squeeze. And then now the only thing I need left is a small little bubble. So the rest of this I don't need. So I'm just gonna pop off the end, let it deflate just a little bit. So I have a small bubble like that. I'm gonna take this excess, I'm gonna wrap it into there. I'm gonna take the little slack that's left over, I'm gonna push it through one of those flower petals to make sure it doesn't come undone. You should have something that looks sort of like that. Now we're gonna position it for the two flower petals are like this, so you have the section on one side and the small bubble on the other. Now we're gonna take those flower petals and we're gonna push them through this large opening here so that it sits with one flower petal on one side, one flower petal on the other. 
We adjust our tail so that it's straight with the rest of the body. We adjust our top fin. And you can finish massaging it if you want. Give it a nice look there. And there we have our fish. Only thing left is a five inch round for the eyes. Let me show you how to put that in. Get your five inch round and inflate it to be about the size of a small lemon. <laughs> Tie it. You're gonna to wanna to split this in half, making sure the two sides are roughly the same size. Once you have the two sides the same size, go ahead and take that knot and wrap it around and tie it in a knot. That way it won't come undone. Now we're gonna feed that through this hole right here. Take one of those bubbles, push it through, and then make sure it's positioned all nice and firm. And there we have our balloon fish. Not too shabby, huh? It's time for our art. The art for the fish is really simple because the only thing you need to draw on is the pupil of the eye. To do that, I make a large circle right in the middle of the eye. And then inside of that circle, almost dead center, I make a smaller circle. And then I shade in the difference, and that's my fish eye. I do the same thing on the other side, and our eyes are done. And our fish is done. Came out pretty good, don't you think? What balloon animal would you like me to make next? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you click that like button and subscribe for more balloon animal instructions. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. For more balloon twisting instructions, please check out balloon-animals.com. I like fish.